Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome. I am the host. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so please take this energy, how it resonates with your energy and with the person that's closest to you. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure you all please click like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I do a giveaway every month for everyone who is subscribed. On the first of the month is when I announce the winners and everything that I give away is in the description box. Please hashtag what you would like to win in the comments. I also do a weekly giveaway and that is done by a drawing. So if you would like to be included in the drawing, please make sure that you hashtag win or hashtag free reading. Every time you do that, your name will go in here and every Monday I will announce the winners, okay? So please look out for that announcement on Mondays and hashtag win or hashtag free reading every time you see me upload a video, including this one, okay? And I will enter you into the drawing. All right, okay. Make sure you all please go to my new channel, Tarot Talk Live, and subscribe to that channel as well on YouTube. And um, let me know what you guys think. So I am just going to do a, well, actually, we're getting ready to do a collective reading. Um, for cancer. However, we are going to be looking at seven different areas. So we're going to look at general messages, spiritual messages, love messages, karmic messages, friends and family messages, career and finance messages, singles messages, and then this entire reading, I want you all to be um, thinking about a yes or no question that you would like to answer, and we will um, we will ask the tarot um, to answer that. So just focus on any question that you want to ask. It has to be a yes or no question, and. Um, and then we will find out what the answer is at the end, okay? So, let's see what we're going to start with. Now, I'm going to be using many different decks. Whatever I am called to use for each of the messages is what we're going to use. Um, but likely, we will pull an oracle message, and then we will clarify with the tarot and then I will double clarify okay with the tarot so this is going to be jam-packed with information so let's get started I'm actually going to start on general messages using this deck here spirit shield oracle all right all of a sudden it just got warm. So I'm going to click on my fan. Yes, there angels and guides. Tell me about cancers, please. Tell me about cancer. What does cancer need to know right now? Tell me about general messages for cancer and the collective. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer and the collective, please. General messages for cancer and the collective. What does cancer need to know right now? Okay. So we have marriage, prison, and strife. Under the deck, we have protection. 
Okay. So this is a specific, um, this can be very specific for some of you. Um, but I do feel like there's an energy of um, someone needing protection. This talks about someone licensed to carry a purchase of a weapon, home alarm, a guard dog, spiritual protection, getting mace, whistle, or guard dog. So this is letting me know that there's something, um, there's either some need to have protection or you have, um, or the spirit is basically protecting you from something. Okay. Um, so this is like a warning to me. Okay. Or something that you need to watch out for. Now with marriage and prison, now you could literally be married to someone who is in prison. Um, and someone may be getting released from prison early. This may not be good news with strife here. Um, this talks about arguments, sudden endings. I feel like this was someone that was very abusive. This person could have also went to prison because of being abusive. Um, but with this person being released early, this may cause a little bit of um, cause for alarm for you or anyone who deals with this person. So I feel like there's an energy of, you know, needing to protect yourself here. Now, for others of you, this could be an energy of you feeling stuck in a marriage um, with marriage in prison. This could literally be someone who feels like they're in the wrong marriage and like they can't get out of it with strife. This is an energy of someone who's having a lot of arguments. This person could be dealing with someone who cheats um, or who's constantly having, you know, third parties or others or outside energies, you know, coming into the relationship causing problems, okay? And there's this, you know, need for you to protect yourself from the situation or you're trying to figure out ways to get out of this situation, okay? So it could go both ways, but I just wanted to point that specific, um, very literal energy of someone who's in prison and being released early. Okay, and this is a problem for someone. So let's look at the tarot here. Let's see, we're going to start off with Spirit Shield Tarot. Okay, and then I think I'm going to clarify with this deck. Okay, so let's see. Let's find out what this marriage card is trying to tell us here. What is marriage here? Tell us about marriage, please. Why is marriage here? What does this marriage refer to? Well, we have the Nine of Swords. So, Cancer, I really do feel like this was... Um, an energy of, or someone who caused a lot of pain. Um, you went through a lot of suffering, a lot of sleepless nights with this person. I feel like this person caused a lot of arguments, um, you know, and it was just one problem after another. Underneath the deck, you have the four of pentacles, and this is talking about someone who is constantly needing to protect themselves or guard themselves. Like I said, this could be someone who is abusive towards you. Um, you know, and again, this is just someone who feels very insecure. Um, like you couldn't sleep around this person. Okay. You could not sleep. Tell me about prison, please. Because I feel like this person got arrested because of 
the issues and the problems. So we have the star here. Aquarius energy. This person you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Underneath the deck, the Ace of Wands. So there's an energy of someone who is... Um, the Ace of Wands can talk about a very uh, fiery, passionate personality. Or it could talk about someone who is very angry and aggressive. Okay. Um, now the star refers to someone who's hoping for something or someone who's hoping to um, recover a situation with someone or reconcile. So this could be an energy of someone who gets released from prison and they want to come and try to make up with you. You know what I'm saying for what they did or someone who's hoping that they can come back to you to get forgiveness for this. But I don't feel like you want this um, with protection here under the deck. I'm feeling like you want this person primarily to stay away from you. Tell me about strife, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you may have children with this person. Okay. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is also an energy of somebody who's very compassionate. And I see um, this person coming towards you wanting compassion or hoping that you'll feel some type of way or feel sorry for this person. Okay. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the King of Cups. So this could be someone that you were very much married to. They went to prison, okay, <laughs> and get out of prison, and now they're coming back. With that King of Cups, this talks about someone who's been separated from their person. This could also be an energy of, you know, being legally separated. So I feel like this was someone that you were married to, but this person is wanting to come back with the tower here. You know, this again, everything happened very quickly. I feel like when this person left or when this person went to prison. Okay. Um, but with the tower here, there, there's an energy of this person wanting to rebuild things, even though... <laughs> Even though they caused things to come to a crash and they caused everything that has happened, now this person wants to come back to try to rebuild things with you. Okay, but again, with protection here, I don't feel like this is going to be welcomed by you. Tell me about protection. Uh oh. So we got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So, like I said, this is an energy of no matter how much work this person has put in, no matter how much this person has changed. You don't care if this person went to school and got three degrees when they were locked up. There's n nothing this person can do to make you come back to them or make you accept them back. So you definitely don't want to be back with this person. Queen of Wands here under the deck. I feel like this is an energy of this person um, or you being very confident, you know, able to take care of yourself. I don't feel like this is representative of a third party, but this could be another person. This could be another person. This could be an energy of, you know, you literally having someone else around when this person comes back in. So your protection may be in the form of someone else. Now you may have someone, you know, to make your person think that you're in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? To feel protected or you may literally be in a relationship with someone else. Let's see, who is this Queen of Wands energy? Let's go ahead and double clarify some of this. Mm. 
this is Queen of Wands energy. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. And we have the Nine of Swords. I feel like whoever this third party is, they're coming in to make sure that this person cannot get to you. So this is someone else that's stepping up and coming in to protect you. Um, but they're making sure that this person does not get to you. Under the deck, Page of Cups. Both of these um, cards, the Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups, refer to someone sleeping or someone who can't sleep. This is like an energy of somebody who's dreaming or having nightmares here. This is someone else that you're in a connection with. We have the Two of Cups here in the background, Cancer. I do feel like you may have someone that actually who you are with in a connection or in a relationship. I do feel an energy of this person is going to try to come back around, but you're going to have someone there with you. And this person is not going to be able to get through to you. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. They're not going to be able to get through to you because this person is going to be there, like physically there. This is a very specific energy here coming through. Tell me more about this um, Queen of Pentacles and this King of Cups. This is someone who's been separated from... Someone, maybe the mother of their children, could be someone they were married to, but they're coming back around. We have the magician here. Underneath the deck, we have the empress. So again, this was someone that you were married to, and you again, you could have had children with this person. Maybe you were pregnant when this person went away, um, but with the magician here, this person is determined to get you back. They are determined to get you back here. They will do anything to get you back. So definitely an energy of someone who's very focused on getting something. And I do feel like... This is a good thing that you have someone with you. So what's interesting here with prison star and the ace of wands, this is striking me as someone literally who is sitting locked up behind bars and all this person could do was think about getting you back. Like with that ace of wands, that's a very passionate energy, a very fiery energy, someone who is focused on one thing and one thing only. And that is when they get out, they are coming back to claim what they feel like they left behind. Tell me about the star and the ace of wands, please. And we have the ten of swords, <laughs> like I said, and under the deck, the world. See what I mean? Both of these cards talk about endings. Both of these cards talk about um someone who was a victim or something or a, a, a breakup that happened. And with the world, this is an energy of you moving on. Um, and I feel like this person is angry or upset about this. They're sitting in prison and they're just stewing or they can't wait to come out to confront you. But I feel like, again, you're going to be protected because someone is going to be with you. 
when this person comes around. I've never gone backwards in a reading before, but I'm going, I'm literally going backwards and clarifying there's a reason for this. Tell me about this Nine of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, please. We have the Nine of Swords twice here. Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords in the beginning and we have the Nine of Swords in the end. And both of those cards represent a dead end. And I feel like this connection was a dead end from the start, Cancer. That's what this message is. And we're going backwards. There's an energy of going backwards. Tell me about this Nine of Swords, please. And the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Cups, Cancer, under the deck, the Ace of Wands. So I feel like, again, this was a situation of... Um, being disappointed, moving too quickly. Um, I feel like from the beginning, there was an energy of this person had a very uh, hot temper. Um, I feel like this person caused a lot of um, disappointment for you or a lot of grief since the beginning of the connection. Like I said, this connection was a dead end from beginning to the end. Do you understand? And I feel like something is going to pop off with this person, um, but you are gonna have the protection there with you. With the two of cups, I see you with someone or someone is going to be there for you. So, So rest in that, Cancers. Let's move on to spiritual messages here. And I'm going to clear the table and the energy off the table. The last time I piled cards on top of one another for, and, you know, these, we're going from message to message, so these are not related. Um, but the last time I did that, it was like the messages were like building because all the energies were like intertwined. It was getting confusing. So I don't want to do that again. So 2306. Spiritual messages will start at 2306. Okay. And I'm going to try to move a little quicker. Spiritual messages. Tell us about cancer and the collective, please. What spiritual messages do you have for cancer and the collective? What spiritual messages do you have for cancer and the collective, please? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer and the collective. Look at this, spiritual cleansing. <laughs> We're asking for spiritual messages and look at what spirit has said. Spiritual cleansing, number 50. Isn't that interesting? And we have lucky, number 47. 
and it's a green horseshoe. So someone may ride horses or someone may be going horseback riding or someone may like horses or there's something about a horseshoe that may be a sign for someone that this is your this is your reading here or your energy. Um, but this is also a card of being blessed and also being divinely guided and protected. Um, this talks about karma. I do feel as though spirit is telling you that you need to cleanse, whether it's cleansing your home, doing a sage, um, taking a salt bath, um, doing a spiritual cleanse and a spiritual detox or cleansing, like I said, cleansing your home and your energy. Um, and I feel like once you do that, there you're going to open yourself for really beautiful, positive things to come towards you. I feel like there's something that is on you or over you um, that's blocking your blessings. Okay, so it, this could be, you know, someone that you dealt with that maybe you were shouldn't have been around and this person's like negative energy was left in your space. There's something about it. Like you either had someone in your home or either you were in a relationship with someone. Um, and I feel like that those vibrations are still hanging around your place. Okay. So, um, definitely you might want to change your sheets or even your mattress. Um, I'm just telling you, if you were in a relationship and sleeping with someone in energy that was negative or someone you should not have been with, spirit is telling you that you need to cleanse this energy. You might need to change your pillows, okay, um, if your dreams are being affected, but there's something that's blocking a blessing from coming towards you. Let's pull another oracle card here. Being drawn to pull another oracle message here. And we have rest and rejuvenation, number 19. So again, you know, this reminds me of the Four of Swords energy, being at peace or being able to get sleep or proper rest. So I feel like this is having to do with where you're sleeping. Okay. Um, the area where you sleep. So around your bed, um, I would definitely, you know, take blessed oil or whatever it is you, you know, use holy water, whatever it is that you use, but definitely bless your bedroom area and where you sleep at at night. Make sure that it is um, very clean, okay? You don't want to have a lot of um, clutter in the area where you sleep because this can, you know, this can be a problem because this is when, you know, spirits and negative energies will tend to want to creep in and find places to go. So you don't want that. You want to keep your area clean. You want everything to be, the energy to be on a high vibration. So that's really important. I feel like your sleep is being affected, literally. And I was drawn to use this deck here. This is one of the first decks that I ever, ever had. My Modern Mondays Tarot. And this is a feminine energy. Um, it's got the Page of Cups, but it also has the Princess of Cups. And it's got the Page of Swords, but it also has the Princess of Swords and so on. So... Tell me about cancer, please. What are the spiritual messages for cancer? Again, I feel like once you do clear your space, all of that, 
that positive energy to flood in. I feel like it's blocked. I feel like it wants to come in, but it can't. It can't. So let's see what's going on. What is this blockage? And what is it that you have to do to clear it? Tell me about cancer, please. Let's get angels and guys. Tell me about cancer. So we have the queen of pen. Oh, I'm sorry. The queen of wands. The two of pentacles. And the judgment card here. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Fire Energy here with the Judgment card. Under the deck, we have the Strength card here. Leo Energy. So we definitely have strong Fire Energy. You could be dealing with the Fire sign. Could be a Leo, could be an Aries, could be a Sag. Um... But there's an energy of someone who's going back and forth with something. Okay. Now, this Queen of Wands tells me that this has to do with um, potentially a third party or your person was cheating with someone. There's an energy of some outside person or energy that is affecting you and was or was affecting you in your relationship before now what's interesting is we have the two of pentacles this talks about someone who's going back and forth now the judgment card talks about someone who's making a, a final decision about something or they're waking up to a fact um you know what I'm saying? Like they, this has been something that's been going on for a while. And now this person is kind of opening their eyes to it or making a final decision about something. And with the strength card, there's an energy of doing what's best or doing what's right for you in the situation. So you could have been in a relationship with someone who was cheating you could have, and this person could have been going back and forth between you and this person. I feel like with the strength card, you may have been putting up with this, but there's an energy of making a final call and stopping, put, like putting your foot down. Um, and I feel like this is also going to be what this is talking about here as far as rest and rejuvenation. That's my four of swords card. So that's a card of you finding out the truth of a situation. And I feel like this person is blocking your blessings or you're blocking your blessings by allowing this person to go back and forth between you and this third party here. Okay. Um, and with the strength card and spiritual cleansing here, I just happen to have this card right here. So this is telling me that you're going to do what's best for you at the end of the day. And because you're making that final judgment, I feel like spirit is going to unblock your situation. You know what I'm saying? I feel like your blessings have been blocked. I feel like spirit is going to unblock them once you make a final decision. Once you stop going back and forth on the matter. Okay. So there's an energy of you allowing uh, something to happen or allowing uh, this energy to go back and forth, but you're going to have to put your foot down, Cancer. Whoa. So what's funny is what fell out was the moon, the Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. <laughs> this is literally the situation at hand. Let's see what we have under the deck. The Three of Swords. With the Empress, what did I tell you? 
So Cancer, you have known all along or there's an energy you knew this person was cheating. The Ten of Wands in the past, this is an energy of you. You've been pretty much at your breaking point for a long time since like early on. So you've known about this Queen of Wands energy. The Ace of Swords talks about a truth. Okay. Someone speaking a truth or facing the truth. Finally, I feel like with the moon here, I feel like you've kind of kept yourself in the dark or you have closed up an eye. You know what I'm saying? To the situation. And you've allowed it to persist. But I feel like you're going to end up putting your foot down here. I feel like you're going to end up putting your foot down here. So let's double clarify here. And I'm going to use this deck here. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, please. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, please. Oops. This is also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, please. And we have the Eight of Cups, Cancer. Like I said, you should have walked away from this from the start. This is you being overwhelmed, emotionally overwhelmed and exhausted from the very beginning. You wanted to leave or walk away from this situation very early or you should have. Okay, under the deck, the three of pentacles. See what I'm saying? This was this was a third party connection. This was three people. This is three's a crowd since day one. This person has been putting you with the hanged man or the hanged woman, okay, in this deck. This person has been leaving you hanging while they have been going back and forth between you and this third party since day one. Since day one. Um, but with that Ace of Swords, there's an energy of now you are wanting to face the truth of the situation, because this person is being very disrespectful. And we have the death card. See, you're starting to change. You're starting to get uncomfortable with this. And you want this to come to an end. Okay, this talks about you letting go. You are dealing with the truth of the situation, knowing that this person is not good for you. Okay, um, under the deck. The Five of Pentacles. I feel like you have been afraid of being alone or there's been a fear of what's going to happen, okay, once you walk away from this person. Because I feel like you walking away, walking away from this person is also going to mean that you may be facing an uncertain future with the moon here. I feel like you're concerned about what, what is going to happen once the truth comes out. So something about your future may be uncertain with pentacles being involved. It may be financial. Tell me about the moon, please. You could be dealing with the Pisces as well. And we have the eight of swords. So there's an energy of... Um, not being able to see what's going to happen. I feel like there's a fear of the unknown. You know what I'm saying? There's a, a true fear of the unknown. There's a fear of being blocked or being blocked from something. Under the deck, the three of wands here. But you want to leave. You want to leave here. This is an energy of wanting to go. But with that seven of pentacles, Goes, I feel like you are planning how best to do this financially. There's an energy of you um, saving your money or building up some sort of a financial, um, almost like a cushion. Because with that three of wands, this talks about someone leaving or going outside their comfort zone. Okay, 
and they don't know what's going to happen after this. So with that seven of pentacles, you need to plan wisely and take your time. Tell me about the three of swords. I feel like, again, you were leaving this person from the beginning. Four of pentacles here. Yeah, this is you being very insecure very, but you had to keep this very close to you. You had to guard your heart and not pretty much tell this person what you were doing. So there's an energy of being very protective, being very quiet with the two of cups under the deck. It's like you wanted to pretend as though everything was doing just fine with the star. There's an energy of creating hope or giving this person hope. Um, or making this person think that everything was okay. But when in actuality, look, we have the two of wands here. You were making plans the entire time. So maybe you weren't being so vulnerable. There's an energy of you um, were being wise about it. So the divine may be telling you to be wise about how you move. You know what I'm saying? So it may be best to take your time and not rush. Okay. But that's what I'm seeing here for you. All right. For spiritual. Now we're going to move on to love at 4151. And I think... What we're going to do after the love messages, we'll come back with part two and we'll go through karmics, friends and family, career finance and singles. And then we'll answer the yes or no question at the end of this reading. And we will also answer a yes or no question at the end of part two, just to be fair. Okay, because I did tell you to think about your yes or no questions. I hope you still are. So let's go ahead and look at this Oracle deck. Tell us about cancers in love, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancers in love. Tell me about cancers in love, please. Cancer in the collective. Tell us about cancers and love. What does cancer need to know? Tell me about cancers and love, please. So we have engagement ring in the reverse. Okay. We have the sword and the rose. Okay. One of my favorites. And we have Love Call under the deck. So, Cancer, this is someone that I feel like you are... Um, Either you have broken a commitment with this person or this person broke it off with you. Um, I feel like you may have been engaged to this person or you may have been living with this person. Um, but this was a commitment. You were, you know, supposed to go to another level in the connection with this person, but it didn't happen. With the sword and the rose here, um, this talks about you getting clarity or being revealed a truth about something. Okay. I feel like this is going to, um, I feel like this truth that you found out is what kind of pushed you into pre empress energy or pushed you back into being single again. So whatever it was that you found out is what kind of pushed you or gave you the strength to walk away from the connection. Okay. Um, or vice versa. If your person was the one that walked out, they found out a truth. And because of this, this caused this person to leave. Now under the deck, we have love call. 
This talks about someone expressing their love, a message of love or someone thinking of you and letting you know. So cancers, if you were the one to walk away, I feel like you're going to be thinking about this person and you may pick up the phone and reach out to this person or vice versa. If someone walked away from the connection, um, then they're going to be reaching out to you. Tell me more about cancers and love, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guys, tell me more about cancers and love. And we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Under the deck, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So, Cancer. So this is definitely a turn. Um, there's an energy of someone who's going to come back being very flirty towards you. With true love here, this is someone who feels like you are their soulmate. Um, this person is going to come back telling you how much they love you. Now, this does talk about honor here. Okay, this does talk about honor. So I feel like although this person may have walked away, I feel like this person held you, still held you at a very high standard or this person still cared about you or they kept a lot of respect for you. I feel like this person was forced to walk out of this connection. I feel like they didn't want to, but they were forced to leave. Now I'm really intrigued. Let's pull some more Oracle and see what we are going to see. Tell me about cancers, please. Tell me about cancers and love. So we have jealousy, number 23. Now this could be an energy of someone who was very jealous, maybe someone left because of something they thought they saw. We also have stars, divine guidance. This is somebody who is coming in wanting to fix something or apologizing. Stars also, the star card represents healing. It represents forgiveness. Let's look at the tarot here now. Tell me about cancers, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. Okay, I was looking for three cards, and look. <laughs> Interesting. So we have the sun, Leo, or fire energy. We have the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have the queen of pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So the sun talks about someone who is um, seeing a truth. This can also talk about someone who's very confident about something. So I feel like whatever it was that this person found out, quote unquote, they were confident that this was what it was. They were seeing what they were seeing. There was no question about this. Um with jealousy out here, 
I feel like this person, whatever they saw, it made them extremely jealous. With that two of swords, I feel like there were things that this person couldn't see. Um, if you look at the traditional rider weight with the two of swords, you'll see like someone that will have potentially a veil over their eyes holding two swords. So this is someone who's making a decision, but they're not really seeing the truth the way they think they are, or they may not see the entire truth of the matter. Now with that queen of pentacles, this is an energy of either someone who you have children with, someone who, who is pregnant, someone who it, you might be married to this person. Um, you may be living with this person. Um, but either way, there's an energy of wanting this person to have compassion for the situation. So under the deck, we have the tower. So this does talk about someone who's coming in to rebuild a situation um, from the ashes. Do you understand? With love call, like this person is literally picking up the phone and hoping with that queen of swords behind the scenes that you are not going to cut them off immediately. This person knows that you don't trust them or vice versa. You know that this person doesn't trust you when you're reaching out, but you're, you're wanting to build back the situation. You're wanting to fix things. You're wanting to convince this person, um, that you're being honest here. I'm going to pull from this Oracle deck here. I'm not Oracle deck, tarot deck. We're going to double clarify. Tell me about the sun card here. What was this truth here? What did you see that you thought you saw? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about the sun card, please. Tell me about the sun card, please. And we have the seven of cups. I feel like there's an energy of you saw your person with someone else, or there's an energy of you. Um, this has to do with options or someone having uh, other people around under the deck with the hermit here. Virgo energy. This talks about someone who is like not really. I feel like this is someone who's kind of pulling back. They're making a decision, or someone who is has the appearance of making a decision. You know, this person may have saw you with someone else, and they thought that you were contemplating or you were, you know trying to choose between them and someone else and it made them jealous okay it made this person jealous here it made them jealous number 23 two plus three is five um again i'm just getting an energy of someone who is just in their head um, but I don't feel like what they saw was what they thought. I'm honestly not getting an energy of this other person doing anything wrong. Um, but let's see, tell me about the two of swords. I'm going to look at the hidden truth oracle. Okay. And we have the four of cups in the reverse. This is an energy of someone who is finding out about a situation or they're getting clarity about something that they were in the dark about. Okay. That four of cups in the upright is someone who's disconnected, you know, they just kind of pulled back. They don't really know, but when it's in the reverse, this talks about somebody who is now coming out of withdrawal. They're coming back to the situation, they have a sudden awareness of what the whole truth is. Two of pentacles under the deck. Okay, this is an energy of someone who's going back um, and forth or someone who's going um, back on a situation. 
So maybe you were feeling angry about something, but the more your eyes are opening, the more you're becoming aware of the truth, okay, that this person was not being dishonest. I feel like this is going to cause you to calm down a bit. That's why we're seeing that Queen of Pentacles. This is an energy of someone who is calming down, someone who is realizing that their person does care for them with true love here. This is the romance of a lifetime. So this is like, oh, this really is my soulmate. Do you see what I'm saying? So this, this is really going to be a complete turnaround here. And I feel like this tower does have an, uh, a chance of being rebuilt. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, you guys. I'm not freaking joking. Out of 50 plus cards, or no, 70, how many cards are in this deck? <laughs> 70, 78 cards, I believe. I don't know, but there's there's quite a few cards in this deck. And the Queen of Pentacles clarified the Queen of freaking Pentacles. So again, this is you having compassion. This is you calming down because I feel like the truth is going to come out that this person, whatever it was you thought you saw was something completely different. Okay, Seven of Cups and the Hermit, completely different energies. This is someone who's pulling back. They're not engaging with all these different options that you think that they have. Under the deck, the Knight of Swords, this talks about a game changer. This talks about something happening very quickly. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you're not even going to realize it or it's going to come out of nowhere or it's going to be like at the midnight hour or just before this person gives up completely. It's like the truth is going to come in and set you guys free. Tell me about this tower, please. I'm getting good vibes here. And that's probably, oh my gosh. So we have the four of swords in the reverse. Four of swords in the reverse. Now, this is an energy of someone who is being rejected. Um, after, you know, really pressing and pressing and pressing, this is an energy of you know, being turned down, being turned down, or uh, it's also an energy of someone who's like, somebody's advances are unwelcome. This could be an energy of someone who is almost stalking this person. So with love call here, Okay, the tower and the four of swords in the reverse. I feel like when this person initially reaches out to you, um, there could be an energy of this person is going to be out of control. It's almost going to be an energy of it's too much, like this person is stalking me, or you're not going to want to hear from this person initially. Okay, but I feel like something is going to happen and it, you're going to change your tune completely. Under the deck, we have the lovers in the reverse. I don't have a lot of cards in the reverse here. And we have the queen of swords here. So again, there's an energy of someone who is really in their feelings, okay? This talks about someone being really in their feelings, okay? But with the lovers in the reverse, you know, this talks about two people that really care about each other, but there's some sort of um, a shift. Um, there's like a snake. There's someone or something that has come in causing these two to be on different playing fields. Okay. 
yeah, three of swords. You have the queen of swords with the three of swords and the two of wands. There is literally someone who has been planning or hoping that this would happen. So I do feel something a little extra in this love reading here. But I do feel like the truth is going to come out at the end of the day. Um, and I do feel like, you know, you're going to realize that this wasn't what was happening. So there is potential for things to get better with you and this person. So let's go ahead and look at the yes or no question before we move on to part two. I'm going to take a break and then we'll come back with part two. So everyone think of a yes or no question that you would like to ask. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer. Please. Tell me about cancers. Think about a yes or no question. What is the answer? And we have yes with the six of wands here. So very positive energy. This talks about someone being very successful, someone who is winning something. This could talk about winning an award or um, money or someone getting recognition for something. Um, this talks about being in the spotlight or others seeing you do well. This could also talk about fame or celebrity. So you may be wanting to get some sort of an achievement or an award or fame or recognition. The answer is yes. All right. Or whatever the question is that you're asking, it's yes with a lot of success. All right. That is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Um, please stay tuned. I will be back with part two. We will look at karmic messages, friends and family, career finance, and singles. And then we will ask another yes or no question at the end. I love you guys so much. Take care of each other and yourselves. God bless. Bye.